No, I don't. Hey everyone, welcome back. How's the intermission? Was there a long line for the toilet? Girls, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Matilda, do not say toilet. Why? It's not polite. Again, why? I P U P we all P. <laughs> and hopefully we all use a toilet to do it. Hopefully. Did you wash your hands? I don't think he washed his hands. <laughs> Sir, you should wash your hands. It's basic hygiene. Come on, have some respect. What is talking? I have respect for people who wash their hands. Night was falling, and the animals were still on the road, and they still hadn't made it to their destination. Does anyone know how further it is to Bremen? My paws are tired. We have a way to go yet. Let us stop and sleep for the night. In the morning, we can continue on. They each tried to find a comfortable place to sleep, which turned out to be a difficult proposition. sound right, it's not my place. This place does not look right, it's not my place. This place does not smell right, it's not my place. This place does not feel right, it's not my place. Something crawling up my leg, get off of me. There is something buzzing in my ear, get away from me. Everything is strange, I'm out of my routine. Wish I was back home where everything is clean. Oh, it is so hard sleeping in a strange place. Always on your guard, bracing for the worst case. Oh, it is so hard sleeping in a strange place. Always on your guard, bracing for the worst case. This place does not look right, it's not my place. My place is a coop behind the door that locks. This place does not sound right, it's not my place. This place does not feel right, it's not my place. It's not my place. the only one of us who could sleep, as she is quite used to the wilderness. No, my friends, I miss my nest, just as you miss your homes. What are we to do? From the upper branches of this tree, I saw a light a little further into the woods. A house with people? They might have food. Or at least a safe, warm barn to sleep in. Shall we go to the house and ask for help? I suppose the worst that could happen is they say no. No, the worst that could happen is that they throw ropes around our necks and return us to bondage. Or eat us. <gasps> eat me. 
<laughs> True. But let's at least go and look. If it looks dangerous, we can fade back into the darkness before the humans see us. <laughs> The animals crept through the forest as silently as they could. Eventually, they came upon the house of Lenore Belfierno and the Belfierno gang. stole me from my family, Jolene, the one who sold me to Lady Sparlock and her horrible daughter. There's Rupert, the lying suitor I bit on the arm. Yes, I recognize him, rascal that he is. And his friend. What is this place? My friends, I think we may be looking onto what is known as a gang hideout, a den of thieves. A den of thieves? Now that's odd. What? Dear Georgia Groot, the talent agent. One who runs the talent contest in Bremen? The same. What is a great, successful person like her doing in a house of criminals? And her assistant, Shannon. Poor Shannon. She just does as she is told, as I used to. We should have warned them that they could be in danger. They are sitting down to eat together. Ah, oh, that food smells delicious. I'm angry. Hungry? Me too. No, angry. Angry? These humans with their villainy go to the world, hurting, taking, lying. Not for them, none of us would be here. But are you not glad to be here? The harm they do only hurts other humans, not you. Indeed, it led you to freedom. But Lady Robin, do you not see? If we are not angry about injustice done to those different than we, we are no better than scoundrels ourselves. Right. I am no villain. I would not look the other way. To do so is to be without honor. Friends, let us make a noise to chill the hearts of these bandits. Let them hear the cry of justice coming for them. where they need to go in case they need to get away rapidly. This is the spot where they need to gather. We're the first ones here. The others should arrive shortly. What was that terrifying noise? Ghosts, maybe? It was Druden. You think? Druden? A Druid is a wicked spirit of the night. A collection of them are called Druden. Perhaps it was... Elves! Whatever made that noise, it meant us all ill. I know that. It doesn't matter what it was. The house is no longer safe. What do we do? We go west. One more job and it's on the greener pastures. Where? Amsterdam is lovely this time of year. What is the one last job? Your fancy lady with the house of riches. We go there tonight, clean her out, then hit the road. I don't know, boss. That seems kind of risky. Ow! Sorry, Rue. I think I misheard you. Were you questioning me? No, boss, no. It's just... Ow! No, boss. You were right as always. Good boy. I look after my family. I will always care for you. All of you. Because we are a family. But if you decide you're not part of this family, 
I can't be responsible for what happens. It's a cold, cold world without a family. We must stick together. And the way we stick together is by you listening to me. Only I can lead this family. Only I can keep us safe. Don't you want to be safe? Yes, boss, you're right as always. What was that? Yes, yes boss, you're right, right as always. Jolene, show us the way to this house of treasure. Meanwhile, back at the criminal's former hideout, the animals had eaten their fill. That was wonderful. I am never <coughs> eating again. So full. That box. I know that box. What box? This box. What of it? This box belongs to Verena and Phyllis. Who? My former owners. It contains the gold coins they need to survive this winter. See? The loss of this box is why I was sold. One of the robbers must have, must have stolen it and brought it back here. There must be 50 gold coins in that box. That is what it costs to enter the great talent contest, is it not? It is! What luck! Only... What? Does not belong to us. It did not belong to the robbers either. No, but Verena needs it. Who cares? Those humans used you, and then the second they ran into trouble, they sold you to a stranger. They loved me, Hans. I once thought the same thing until my family decided to kill me for trying to protect them. What if the whole world is full of people like this gang? Thieves, tricksters, liars, who just want to take advantage of strangers. What if the whole world is full of people who don't know right from wrong? We know right from wrong. It makes sense that other people do too. If they know right from wrong, they wait. the way they live means they just don't care, which is even worse. Phyllis and Verena know right from wrong. And they sold you. What do you want, Donkey? Do you want to become a famous musician? Or do you want to give the gold back to the ungrateful humans who do not deserve it? I want to be a famous musician. Of course. Why? What's that? Why do you want to be a famous musician? Who would not want that? When you have fame, everyone loves you. You go where you want, and you do what you wish, and you are loved all the time. I'm a cat. I go where I want already. It's my nature. <laughs> I have always done as I wished. I eat, I sleep, I strut, and I crow. My needs are simple. For myself, I long to smell the sense of the world. Rich text of secrets revealed, mysteries solved, stories passed on the wind. I need only safety and friendship. But what of the great talent contest? Do none of you long for the audience, all listening as one, resting, as it were, on your feathers as you carry them on a journey in glorious song? And the applause afterwards, the thunderous, rapturous explosion of appreciation as they rise to their feet, tears streaming down their faces? What of that? Listen to Ziska. She speaks truth. We can win this talent contest. We can win it. And then we can know what it's like to be a star. I know how easy it can be To decide your dreams cannot be done Evidence suggests you ought to flee Then you quest before you have begun Best way to get there is to go Best way to fail is to quit Worst way to start is to say no
My friends, if you all agree, we shall continue on to Bremen and enter the competition. I will join you. Yay! Let us finally get some deserved rest. in the quiet house, Lady Scarlet's mansion was a flurry of quiet business. We have every available officer here ready to do a stakeout. We will catch these bandits. Should they attempt to rob you, we will be here all night if that's what it takes. This is so exciting! A genuine stakeout! It's actually dull work. How many perps have you called? Got any exciting stories? My job is mostly refereeing paperwork and refereeing family members who argue too loudly. This is so exciting! No, it isn't. Once you're inside, just grab the nearest expensive thing and get out. Wait! Pull in! New fish. Pull in? Right. You're with me. But I was gonna show her. No! She's green. Untested. I can't have her growling up the job. She's with me. Yes, boss. You see, kid, there's an art to robbing a place. Little mistakes can ruin a job. We'll get you trained up good, and then you can join the fun. Next time. 
next time. You're all under arrest. You're getting canned, you rotten rascals. Boss, send trouble. What do we do? We get clear and run, dummy. Yes, boss. You are right as always. They're family, you love them. I love family that don't get caught. Let's go. Oh my stars, officer, in the darkness, I mistook this house for my own. When in the light, I see my heir. It's all a big misunderstanding. Rupert, my darling. Ah, Laura. Flora. <laughs> That's what I said. Tell these cops this is all a misunderstanding. Let him go. <laughs> Not a chance, punk. I will wait for you, sweetheart, always. Where is Sparkle Pop? Who? My precious special kitty, the one you sold to my mother. Oh, the cat? I have no idea. Who's in charge of this gang? What gang? I don't speak the language. We're being persecuted for our political beliefs. What's your crime, officer? Tell me that. Lawyer. Deirdre to group. She's the boss. She's the one to call the shots. Shannon, after all we've been through? Don't try to deny it, boss. I've been under your thumb all along. It sure seemed that way to us. See? Yes, boss. You are right as always. That's what Shannon always says. That was her idea, not mine. I was led astray by a charismatic hustler officer. I should not have fallen for her lies, but I... I did. <laughs> I will take what is coming to me. You rat, you think. What do you say? Was Deirdre the Bosch? <laughs> Lawyer. Hey, I recognize you from the market where I sold the spices. What did you do with our gold? <laughs> Lawyer. <laughs> All right, get him out of here. <laughs> family now, Quillen. You and me. We gotta start over and that box of gold is what we need. What about the game? What about Rupert? They... They abandoned us, kid. Don't you remember? They didn't have loyalty. Not like you. I need you now, Quillen. I need you. You go in, grab that box of gold, and then we'll head west. Together. Together? What if the witches get me? No such thing. It was probably just a rival gang that tricked us with a phony show. The lights are out. They're all asleep. Just get the gold, kid. Yes, boss. Oh, it's so dark. I would like small candles. Let us get as far away from here as we can and never come back. Yes, boss. You are right as always. Come on! <laughs> what was that? One of the robbers must have returned for their loot. Did they get it? No, it's still here. We defeated them. Together. Well done, my friends. What a band we are. Sure. Right. Esel, we've been thinking about that. Thinking about what? 
You said the talent agent and her assistant were eating dinner with the criminals. Yes. What if they were criminals also? Deirdre and Shannon? Surely not. Just consider it. It cannot be. When they were sitting down to dinner, I smelled nothing but food and liars. My friend, what if... What if the talent competition is a scam? A fraud. A grift. A lie? But it... No, it can't be. It must be real. It must be. We must look at the evidence. What about the dream? Fame and fortune. It is a lovely dream, sure. A dream you had for a day. Look in your heart. What is it you truly want? Fame? The fleeting love of strangers? Wealth? The selfish, soulless ambition of humans? We are animals. What need have we for gold? I want to be part of a family. Esol! So you wish to return to the humans? I do not. Whatever they may have felt for me, it was not love. I know that now. They are not bad people. They just did not see me as someone who mattered. Sometimes a family you're born with is a garden that sees you as a weed. Sometimes a family you're born with uses you to satisfy their greed. Sometimes a family you're born with hurts you till you feel like one day. Sometimes you lose the one you're born with And you seem to find a new one A new one that you choose When life is like a hammer And you're a crooked nail When the love you should have gotten Gets rerouted in the mail When you need some understanding Shelter from the storm, a space where you are welcome, a room that's safe and warm, you can find it here, your chosen family. We don't look like each other, but our hearts all beat in time. We do not share a mother, but our laughter always
famous musician, thousands would gather to hear her lovely songs. Whenever she grew, grew weary of life on the road, she would come home and she was always warmly welcomed. One day, a few days later, Rita Polka awoke to discover something left on her front porch. What is this? Oh my! Phyllis! Phyllis! We are saved! Our 50 gold pieces have been returned to us! Later that night, Isol returned home, very tired, but satisfied that all was right in the world. <laughs> 